So good morning, everyone. Good morning. Afternoon. Or afternoon, yes, afternoon, yes, right. I just want to thank everyone for joining us here today. My name is Harlan Kelly, and I'm the general manager of the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission. I just want to welcome you here to our very first green infrastructure community celebration, where we're actually celebrating the successful completion of one of our many projects, but one of our first green infrastructure projects. And I just want to give everyone a hand for being here today. So our mission uh, at the PUC is to provide high quality, uh, efficient, and reliable water wastewater and power service to the residents of San Francisco. And one of the key business principles that we have is to, uh, to provide sustainability. And I really think this project really represents sustainability. Don't you think so? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it actually looks good as well, right? <laughs> and so um, the this is one of many projects that we have as part of our sewer system improvement program. Our sewer system improvement program is a 20-year program which is seven billion dollars and then this is one of the first projects and so we're so excited to kick off one of our early uh, green infrastructure projects and we're so proud of it. And not only sustainability, we also look for affordability. When we're spending that amount of money, we have to make sure that we keep the rates affordable. And I'm excited to really share with you that we were very successful in getting low cost financing for this project. This is one of the projects that we were able to uh, obtain uh, funding from the Clean Water uh, uh, state revolving fund program where we were able to obtain 7.4 million dollars in low interest financing for this project that will help save our ratepayers money so I just want to thank the crew out there that really helped us to obtain that as well uh, I want to also uh, let folks know and share the success of this program I just want to acknowledge some people at the PUC our design team, our project managers, our construction managers, and also our contractor, M Squared. Where's M Squared? They're in the back. Now, this project was on, done on time, on budget, and the quality that would be the standard for other green infrastructure uh, uh, that's going on or moving into the future. Uh, it's just really, I think we tested it. It works well, and we're going to test it again. So uh, we wanted to make sure that it actually worked, though. Uh, but also, I want to give a special uh, shout out to Keith Lichten uh, from the uh, Regional Water Board. Where are you, Keith? But next, I would like to uh, introduce uh, one, of, one of my favorite commissioners. <laughs> Uh, and she, I've been knowing her for a very long time, I won't say how long, but her heart is, uh, it bleeds green. She is really true environmentalist. She was the first uh, uh, department head for the Department of Environment when it, she actually created the office in San Francisco under then Willie Brown. And that's where I met her. And I wasn't a believer. And uh, in a couple years, or maybe more than a couple years, she made me a believer. And so she believes in greening the urban uh, landscape. She believes in sustainability. And when we came up with our tagline, uh, when we talk about the sewer system improvement program, the first thing we talk about is cleaning our infrastructure. And then the second one is greening because of Francesca. And then the third, we work with gray infrastructure and that's the combination. So with that, I would like uh, my commissioner, my boss, Francesca Vitor to come up and say a few words. <laughs> Thank you so much, Harlan. Um, I'm so excited to be here today for the city's first groundbreaking of its green infrastructure program, uh, the Holloway Green Street Project, we're calling this. Um, and as Harlan mentioned, this is one of eight green infrastructure projects that we are rolling out right now uh, in anticipation of rolling out a lot more once we've been able to really show how successful green infrastructure can be for managing our stormwater program. This project alone is going to treat, capture, and absorb nearly one million gallons of stormwater every year. 
And that'll bring us a lot closer to our goal of one billion gallons by the year 2050. So one billion gallons by 2050. Now, as you can see here, this project is going to use a combination of rain gardens, which are still quite small and immature. They're going to grow into a beautiful gardens right here and over there. And pervious pavement, which is a filtration system so that our storm water will no longer go straight out into the bay and be wasted, but will go into the groundwater and provide an ongoing source of water for us to be able to tap and replenish our city and our system. So we're really excited about the concept of being able to reuse our water and our storm water for the city of San Francisco. This is the first time that we have used this material, this pervious pavement, uh, in a right of way in San Francisco. Uh, you're going to be seeing pretty soon how that infiltration works. Sarah Minnick is going to come up and show us and tell us a little bit more about the technical aspects of it. One of the reasons I really like green infrastructure is because it provides so many more benefits besides just stormwater management. Urban greening, neighborhood beautification, urban habitat. We're going to see a lot of animals and critters and butterflies and birds come to this street, as well as bike and safety, bike and pedestrian safety improvements. So that's really one of the things we're striving for at the PUC is the multiple benefit aspect of green infrastructure. We also really appreciate our partnership of our, of our city family in this project that includes City College, San Francisco State University, and the Planning Department and their Green Connection program for San Francisco. So I'm so happy to celebrate with all of you today on this project. I hope you'll enjoy these beautiful rain gardens and I'd like to introduce Sarah Minnick to walk us through the rest of this project and to show us how it's going to work. <laughs> Hi everybody, um, thank you so much Harlan and Francesca. We are so excited to share this project with all of you and I'm so delighted that we have all these green infrastructure enthusiasts out here today in the foggy sunset. It's really exciting. Um, I also wanted to add on to um, Harlan and Francesca's remarks that we're very thankful for the patience and participation that the community brought to this project. Um, they really helped us understand what improvements they'd like to see on their street and we worked together to figure out how stormwater management and their needs could be met at the same time so that was a really exciting partnership and they were very patient through construction so we we really appreciate that um, so now i think what we'll do is if everyone could join us over here we'll do the ribbon cutting which will be um, really fun and then we'll move into the demonstration and I'll share a few comments while that's happening. So let's get everybody over here for the ribbon cutting uh, because the demonstration is going to occur over there and we don't want you guys to get wet. <laughs> into a more beautiful and green city. Without further ado. Yeah. 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 